it is Melissa from 70 Acres Studio. I am here with our next little project. It is actually on the wall right behind me. He's right behind me, isn't he? As you can see, it is a black, white, and gray potato chip block. There are, it's a four by four, so it's 48 by 48, so make a nice baby quilt or floor quilt for baby to play on or just a wall quilt, anything, anything you need a small quilt for. It could be a table topper. You can see the quilt right here behind me and we are going to sew all the blocks together and then I'm going to show you how I am appliquing the bubbles onto the quilt top. Okay, I have all four rows laid out here and I stack my blocks left to right so this first one is the upper left and i am rotating the blocks we're doing uh every other kind of thing so this one is going up and down and this one is going crosswise and that avoids seam allowance i always start it do a few stitches and then align everything okay that's the first row and I will come back when I've got all the other rows done and we'll sew them together. All right, we are on our last row and I am just gonna get this sewn and then I'll get it ironed up. Okay, here are our bubbles. I used a shiny fabric. I believe it's a fairy frost, but it's kind that it has extra glitter on it. I just thought it looked real pretty. I thought it gave it a nice shine. So I have nine of these and some of them still have some paper on them. So I'm just going to be tearing that off. Okay, we have the quilt top all sewn together and I have placed the bubbles where I think I want them. They're just on there with pins. I have removed all of the coffee filters from the back of press them all. Okay, so I have the quilt top piled up over here and I'm going to be doing a blanket stitch. And the blanket stitch has a tendency to pucker because it's a double, it goes over each stitch twice. So what I've done is I've cut out some interfacing, some embroidery interfacing and put it under each bubble. And I have four pins in each bubble and I'm just gonna power through this. I'll show you one, how I'm doing it. And then we, uh, then I will turn the camera off and I'll just plow through it. And and I'll come back when it is all done. I am using on the Bernina 770 Quilters Edition, I am using stitch number 1330, which is a double blanket stitch. And my foot has a groove down the center and I'm gonna be lining that up with the edge of the bubble and we'll see how far we get. There is our very first bubble applique and I'm using a nice variegated thread. And at this point in time, I'm gonna turn the camera off so I don't bore you to death. Well, there it is, YouTube. She's all finished. I've removed all of the interfacing that I had back behind the bubbles. I have it all pinned down. There you go. So I do hope you enjoyed this short little project of mine. Again, I want to thank Brenda over at Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. She was the one that designed the potato chip block, which I've been absolutely devouring. And 
and she also showed how to do the bubbles and i just i've had so much fun with these bubbles as soon as she said bubble this is exactly what i saw so i want to thank her for the inspiration and i hope she gets a laugh out of this quilt uh, i'm just i really enjoy doing it and i want to thank you all so much for watching please do 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 Be sure to do, 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 me a big big favor and give the video a like please subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bells so you're notified when i post a new video please leave a comment down below so i know that you were here share this video with your friends on, on your social media and until next time this has been lots and lots of fun i'm melissa and with this is 70 acre studio and i'll see you right back with our next project god bless good night elizabeth Good night, Campbell.